Hey guys, even here and in today's video we get a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and as you can see we are starting with a ab check with Derek Lansford. So, it's interesting to see this because, especially because at a Mr. Olympia, Derek didn't even hit the abs and tie pose. I mean, he kinda hit it a little bit, but mostly he was showing his vacuum. And he was criticized heavily for that by pretty much everybody. And the problem was basically the depth of his abs, especially compared to somebody like Hari Chopin, because check it out. The difference is huge. I mean, Hari is known for his abs. Those are some of the best abs ever from all the Olympia winners or even bodybuilders overall. I mean, I don't know who had better midsection than Hari. I mean, more developed and like drier, more separated abs like this. This is crazy. This was insane. And Derek, it's not that he's, you know, bad next to Hari, but really his abs are not very good. Very, very shallow, not very symmetrical, not well-shaped, not aesthetic. However, his vacuum is freaking good. His vacuum pose is amazing. I mean, his waist looks super small. The quads are flaring out, the lats are as well, great X-frame. It just looks very, very good, very aesthetic. However, this pose is not a vacuum pose. These guys don't have a vacuum pose in open bodybuilding, in IVB. Even classic guys don't have a vacuum pose officially. There is a vacuum pose in European IVB Classic Physique, but not in MPC, not in IVB Pro League. So, especially not in open bodybuilding. And it's not a thing, it's not really important. In Classic Physique it's important to show it, but in open, yeah, it's nice to see it, but when they call an abs and high pose, you show your abs, you don't show your vacuum. Also, Derek's quads are not exactly his strongest suit, I mean, they're not exactly the most detailed, the most shredded, they're not like hotties, I gotta say, and like, again, his abs definitely needed some work, so he posted a ab update. I don't know if this is gonna translate to the stage, but here, his abs are looking pretty good. As he gets leaner, I'm sure the separation is gonna look even deeper, but I think they weren't this separated before. And I'm sure he was aware that that pose was a weak pose, the pose that he was losing. I mean, Tyler Mannion basically said it, he lost that pose to Hardy. So I think he worked hard on improving the abs, and I think he improved them. I think they're looking deeper than ever. And as he gets leaner once again, they're gonna get even more impressive. Hopefully the pose overall is gonna flow well, is gonna flow better this year. But I think I can see some uh, ab improvements. Now... You can see the comment in the comment section here by Milo Sharchev, and he's one of those guys who kind of criticized Derek quite a bit about this. So he says, vacuum shows the abs? It's supposed to be abdominals and thighs pose. How do you judge abdominals when you hide them? Creating an illusion of smaller waistline by the retaper by doing a vacuum is okay in all other poses. It should not be here, if you ask me. And I agree, I have to agree, I think everybody, literally everybody can see this and they agree. I'm sure Derek knows this as well, probably better than anybody else. Uh, he's doing the vacuum because he's trying to hide that pose. You know, as Arnold says, if you don't have it, don't show it. If you can get away with showing it a little bit and then immediately switching to vacuum, sure, it probably works for him. I mean, he's not showing his weakest pose too much. I understand his tactic, but the judges also probably know what he's doing, what he's trying to do. Are they appreciating it or not? That's a question. But in any case, no matter what he does, in my opinion, he's always going to lose to Hari in that pose. If he only does the absent eyes, if he only does the vacuum, or if he does back double bicep, it doesn't matter. Hari is winning that shot no matter what. But what Derek replied to Milos here was also kind of interesting. So he says, how many times do we have to change the criteria? People were amazed by seeing open bodybuilders or any bodybuilder hit vacuum poses. Now we hate on it. As soon as someone does something you haven't seen before and others begin to follow suit, we all of a sudden need to change. Why the sour grapes? I know what you're thinking, but I'm sure Derek is intentionally acting dumb right here. There is no chance he doesn't understand what Milos is saying. Milos was very clear about what he said. He said vacuum is great, showing your small waist and aesthetic physique is great in all other poses, but in the abs and thighs pose, where you should show your abs, you shouldn't do it there. And Derek is talking about how we are criticizing vacuums now, blah blah blah. Uh, he is not really replying to what Milos said. Because he knows, he knows why he's doing this, he knows it's not right, but 
it's it's probably the best thing strategically however once again i think he improved the abs i think they're thicker than before and his waist didn't grow with them no no he just made his midsection look better hopefully it's gonna look better on stage i think it will and i don't see any changes in derek like in terms of size but if this is something he can change you know small details like this like the midsection maybe like uh, separation in the quads maybe more separation in the front delts and upper chest stuff like that if you can change that and not grow anymore i think he has a very good chance of remaining a mr olympia champion but we'll see i mean hadi hadi is coming really strong and this is what hadi looks like right now this is first june 2024 he says you are not happy i am coming and then he says 15 percent which means he's at the beginning of his prep he still has 85 percent to go before he is 100 percent peaked for the mr olympia stage and this is what Hyde looks like at 15 percent of his journey to reclaim the mr olympia title and i gotta say he looks amazing and look at his abs right here like they are freaking great as you can see the size the fullness the roundness it's back he is not as shredded as he's going to be for the stage but at this point 18 weeks out he looks phenomenal he is one of those guys who stay very lean in their off season i mean yeah he competed quite recently at the arnold classic so he didn't have enough time to get you know bulky he didn't have enough time to like eat a lot of food and blow up but why would he do that it would make sense if he wanted to put on a lot of muscle and he took like two years off but in his case he already has all the muscle he needs really he needs to just make himself make the prep as easy as possible you know make it stress free because if he stays very very lean he doesn't have to suffer down to to get in condition so all Hardy needs to do is to come in extra crispy the way he showed up at the Arnold Classic can he improve his physique a little bit more maybe gain some more fullness roundness in certain areas i don't know i mean i guess it's possible he did make progress from mr olympia to arnold at least it looked like that so maybe he's gonna improve even more but honestly i think that arnold classic ohio look was the peak of his career i don't think he can get any better than that but if he can replicate that and bring it to the mr olympia i would have him as my favorite to win the show is that gonna happen though with all his limitations i don't know man as you can see the other guys like derek like nick like samson they are hanging with the owner of the mr olympia they are posing for the president of the ibb at a pittsburgh pro gas posing they are out there they are doing the stuff they are promoting the sport they're doing everything can hardy you know just show up out of nowhere and win the title become the number one guy in the world i don't know it's really difficult to say i hope the judges will judge fairly and if hardy deserves it hopefully he will win it some of you might say that he deserved it last year but i don't think so i think it was close and this year if hardy wants to win he needs to close that gap he needs to destroy everybody he needs to be 110 percent in order to win this show he needs to embarrass the judges if they don't give him the first spot that's how he can win if it is close i don't think they're gonna give it to him well that's just my opinion whatever you guys think tell me down below all right the next thing is very interesting as you guys know quinton Araya is competing at the toronto pro so is akim williams so is hassan mustafa so is uh, john jewett however andrea presti is not on the list so i guess quinton Araya and hassan mustafa are going to be battling for that third spot in my opinion and this is the story that Quinton posted today. Uh, so it is Tuesday, and he started carving up with uh, pizza. And he says, <laughs> We're coming in full. The load up started today. And this is meal seven extra large pepperoni pizza. I mean, yeah, I'm all for that. I'm all for him coming in full. But is this just a moment of weakness is he only hungry from the prep and he decided to start early because i don't know man starting the carb up so many days before and i mean this kind of a carb up you know junk load i don't know i mean i guess he knows his body he probably knows that he needs a lot of food for days and days to actually be full 
So hopefully he knows what he's doing, but I don't know. I don't. This is not common. This is definitely not common. Maybe he's doing the front loading type of protocol where he's gonna carb up first and then deplete to the show and you know maybe carb up a little bit more right before the show. You know that is okay, but he probably started a little bit too late for that. You know if you're doing that, it's usually like one week out. But here he also says the load up started today, so it started today. It's probably gonna continue until the show. And this is not it. He had another large pizza, extra large pizza. Uh, this one is like, as you can see, with a lot more cheese. So <laughs> he is definitely having a, I don't know, a whole bunch of calories. This is not even a carb load. This is like a fat load. How many cheese is there? <laughs> but I mean, this kind of food is definitely gonna get him full. But I don't know if he's gonna spill out. Maybe he knows what he. Hopefully, he knows what he's doing. Maybe he's gonna just, you know, carb up, you know, junk load, do whatever, get as full as possible, and then dehydrate the last day and look great. I mean, I'm really curious to see, it's gonna be very interesting to see this kind of protocol, how it works. And we don't have a physique update, but we have this little photo from him training in, in clothing, and as you can see, he does look bigger. I would say he does look bigger than he did during the New York Pro Peak Week, right? He looked very flat, very, very sucked down. And uh, here you can see what he looked like basically a month ago. So a couple of weeks before the New York Pro. I guess he was really full here. Uh, very lean as well, but really full. So if he can bring something like this to the stage, this is actually looking pretty good. Front double bicep looks even better. I mean, I don't know what he looks like from behind. Are the glutes in and so on? Maybe not as much, but overall, I would rather opt for this look than what he brought to the New York Pro stage. And against Hassan, he, I think he's gonna look uh, more conditioned than Hassan, even if he kept eating pizzas every day until the show, probably. So, yeah, I think it's gonna be a very interesting thing to see how this peak week done by Quint himself is gonna end up looking. If he looks better than he did at the New York Pro, then, I don't know, it just goes to show that Matt Jensen failed badly with this guy, but, yeah, maybe he's gonna look worse. Maybe this is not a good plan. I don't know, but it's gonna be very interesting to see this guy on stage bringing the fullness. It's gonna be awesome. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.